Right. I thought I'd go to a real, you know, I'd, I'd really push the boat out here um, and go for a real low rent, low production value update video that no one's give it, that no one's going to give it a blinding stuff about. But I feel quite, um, uh, <clears throat> what's the word? I feel, um, I feel quite weak that I haven't been putting any crap videos up recently. I mean, I've put a lot of crap videos up, but nothing recently. So uh, I just thought I'd just give you a little bit of an insight in, into the uh, into the life of Fagan RS500 and, and what I haven't been up to over the past 49 years, nearly. Um, so I... <laughs> I do this kind of video every now and again um, and it is really to remind myself of how much time and effort and cash that I end up wasting on things to do with gaming still and I tried to calm all this down and that just went all Pete Tong and then I started buying more stuff and, and as you very well know uh, I tend not to actually even open stuff let alone actually play it, use it or look at it. Um, so I have a stack of stuff on my desk here that I have purchased and I can't remember over what period of time it's got to be 12 months and I did check back on my videos to make sure that I haven't covered any of this but I probably have to, I don't know if I have or not I couldn't see anything that was obvious but anyway so I just thought I'd give you a very quick run through oh uh, yeah give you give you a very quick run, run through get me words out of all the crap I've been buying but also give you a bit of a useless update on a couple of videos that I have done over the sort of the past 12 months I suppose really teaser videos about about up and coming videos that have just never materialized because I've been so lazy but I just thought I'd give a little bit of an update on that so I did a video some time ago about emulation um, and I said that I would bought a Pi I said that I would bought an Odroid and I bought a NVIDIA TV Shield. Right, the good news is, I've done all the setup work, oh, me light's gone, um, and I've done all the setup work for the Pi, I've done all the setup work and everything for the Odroid device, but I haven't looked at the NVIDIA TV Shield, which is actually behind me, it's just there on me shelf. At I haven't even took that out of the box yet. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, just for a change. I've got stuff ready to go on that to start setting that up, but that'll probably take me about six months to set up and get absolutely bang on to how I want it. Um, and I want to do videos on the Pi and the Odroid, but I think I'll do them all at once. So I'll wait until I've done the NVIDIA Shield. By the time that gets done, emulation will be like, it'll be like the 1920s so I'll probably uh, yeah yeah we'll see how that goes can't promise anything I'll probably catch you later on that one around about 2022 or something now something else that I did buy and I kind of be asked to reach and get it because everyone's seen them and I don't know why I bought it but then again I don't know why I buy a lot of the stuff I buy I'm a Muppet is that device just there PlayStation Classic I haven't got any any clue really why I bought that I think that was out of, out of nostalgic reason because I think out of all the mini consoles it looks the best. Um, but I actually think the mini consoles are just poles of junk. So, but that's my opinion. I'm going to get slagging for it. I know I am. But you know, so I've got that. I don't even know what I bought. I bought bloody dongles to do all the all the all the OTG bloody leads and memory cards to you know to do all the hacking and stuff. But pff, yeah, that stayed in the box basically. Um, and also something else I've actually been playing with and I've got set up um, is something to do with the Xbox OG, the original Xbox. Again, it's nothing new, um, but I will save that for a video, but some of the stuff I'll show you now will sort of um, highlight something else I'm doing with that. But anyway, so yeah, this is all stuff that I can do and I will probably end up doing none of it. But, you know, so what? 
Such is life, eh? Such is life. So, on to some of the games. I do game a lot. I do game, well, a lot. I do game at least once a week. At least once a week I'll game. But again, as I've said in the previous, uh, as I've said in the previous video, it really is current gen stuff. Now I don't, I, I, I don't touch my retro stuff really hardly at all. Can't, I seriously can't remember the last time I fired my cabinets up uh, properly and had a, had a good play on them. Um, and I keep threatening myself to do that, but uh, yeah. So anyway. I am shit scared that if I do fire them up now, that the bloody the uh, the monitor chassis are gone on them, and I'm gonna have to recap them. Which, but you know, who knows? Um, so onto the boring games. First one, in no particular order, and you'll notice a lot of these games have still got the cellophane wrappers on them. Uh, Luigi's Mansion Three. I actually love the original version of this. Um, and I quite like the one on the 3DS. So actually, and this looks absolutely awesome on the Switch, but again, the Switch, I think the last time I actually actually turned that Switch on, even though I'm into current gen, current gen gaming more nowadays, I bet that was 18 months ago properly. I actually switched it on properly to have a, um, uh, to have a play rather than just actually charging the unit up. But yeah, Luigi's Mansion 3, another thing for the Switch. Uh, Yoshi's Crafted World and the only reason I bought that was for no other reason other than it looked pretty awesome graphically it looked quite nice so yeah I'll have to I'll have to uh, I'll have to throw that in for about three minutes at some point I can't believe I haven't even took this one out of the wrapper Super Smash Brothers Ultimate now all these have been bought on release you know, these aren't ones I've just bought recently. They're all <laughs> bought on flat. I mean, that must have come out. How long did that come out? 18 months ago? Madness. Now, this one, uh, the only reason I bought this one, this is a PlayStation 3, uh, and it is Undernight in Birth. And I'll tell you how long I've had this, because you'll see someone else in a minute that will, that will, okay, it may not make you laugh, that you won't give a stuff about, but Fighter for the PlayStation 3. And the reason I bought that, and this must be, I must have bought this two years ago. I mean, I must have done. It must be. Uh, and the only reason I bought that is because uh, I saw a video uh, from Co Jones, Daz. And he had bought it and he was playing it and I thought, oh, that looks all right. I've never seen that one before. I'll go and buy it. Yeah, went on eBay and bought it. Still in the wrapper, still on my desk. Haven't even looked at it yet. PlayStation 4, Days Gone. It's supposed to be a pretty good game. Again, I wouldn't know because I haven't even played it. I have put that into the PlayStation 4, mind you, to actually, actually install it and download the update, but never actually played it to get round to that. Uh, UFC 3 on the Xbox One X. So this is Xbox One X enhanced. Again, the reason why I bought that, and that was fairly, fairly recently, was it looked pretty good. It looked pretty awesome. Uh, graphics on it look, look mega. Never really played these types of games. But, yeah, so I'll give that one a bash at some point. I'm sure I've mentioned about this before. And the reason why it's on my desk is because I haven't re well, I haven't played it properly. I have installed it. I've got all the patches on the Xbox One X, but I haven't played it properly. And this is bad because I I, I always used to love me, me fighters, and that's Dead or Alive Six. Got to at least give that five minutes at some point. Um, Xbox One X again. Uh, Crash Team Racing Nitro fueled. Is it any good? I ain't got a clue. Xbox One X again. Sonic Team Racing. Supposed to be pretty shit up. Again, I've got no idea. I'm gonna have to try it sometime. Uh, Xbox One X again. Uh, Samurai Showdown. Fighter. Looks pretty awesome. Looks pretty awesome. Again, I haven't got a clue. I haven't played it. Still in the wrapper. Now, 
Xbox 360 game, the uh, reason I bought this is because it is Xbox One X enhanced. But again, I haven't played it. I never actually bought this originally for the 360, obviously, because that's what I've got it here now because I've re-bought it. But Ninja Gaiden or Ninja Gaiden 2. Again, it's supposed to be pretty epic actually, but um, and it's supposed to look pretty awesome on the Xbox One X because it's enhanced. So that is the quick run through of the physical of the physical games that I have have bought and not played. So that's actually what I should talk, what I should call the title of this video: games I've bought and not played, which will probably be several thousand to be honest. Um, I tend to buy a lot now digital wise, not not on the consoles, but on my PC, and I do a lot of PC gaming, so I, I've, I've got, you know, um, in fact, I've got a list, I, I, right, right, this is how bad it is, I have to produce a game list of all the games that I buy as I buy them, and I have to keep a list, and I strike them off as I play them, or play through them, now, that's the list, and the ones that are, um, that are being played are the ones that are stricken off in respect to the highlighter. So that's over a page of games, and the majority of those are, are PC uh, digital games. So all the, all the latest stuff that's come out, like Grid, uh, uh, latest Call of Duty, latest Star Wars, um, uh, Gears of War 5, uh, Division 2, Metro Exodus, uh, you know it goes on and on and on for the PC and whatever I haven't even played them yet it's bad it's so bad I have to keep a list to remind me of the ones I haven't played um, and that list getting longer rather than getting shorter so yeah what a muppet anyway let's do some unboxing we don't really see unboxings now now on YouTube do we Basically, because they're crap. That's why no one ever does them. So let's do, <laughs> let's look at some gaming stuff that I have actually received over the past. This has been sent to me over the past week and a half. So let's, I think that's the first one in in chronological order. PlayStation Four. Under night in birth. XE late ST <laughs> fighter so this is the current gen follow-up to the uh, to the PlayStation 3 game that I showed you yeah so it's that one so that's the first one in the series that's the second one in the series PlayStation 4 I'll stick that on my list or and on my pile the pile's getting bigger. And the next one. PlayStation 4. Fighter. Under Night. In Birth. XC. Late. CL. Hyphen R. Where the hell they come up with all these names? So this is the very, very latest version. I think it's actually due for release tomorrow. It's just come for the post today, actually. So that's the third one in the, in the trilogy. Um... And they look pretty good fighting games actually, but what I wanted to do was actually get all this set up on my on my um, on my Naomi cabinet because uh, I can link my PlayStation 4 up to that. Um, uh, I certainly can do that with the PlayStation 3, but so I might give that a bash actually at some point over the next 14 years. Right, so that's all the all the gaming game stuff out of the way. Um, and again, just to show to you that I am I am gearing up to actually start and finish uh, the emulation stuff on that NVIDIA Shield. I went out and bought a hard drive enclosure because I've got a two terabyte hard drive that I need to set up for that device because I've got a sh I've got a shed load of stuff to put on it to try it. Uh, cutting to the chase, the NVIDIA Shield is, is supposed to be the best outside of PCs, is the best emulation device that you can buy or use, I should say, you know, outside of PC hardware. Um, yeah, so it'd be good to compare that 
with the Pi and the Odroid. But I won't spoil any of that as regards to what the Pi and the Odroid or what my feelings are of, of those two devices. We can cover that in a later video that I will not end up doing. So, um, <laughs> going back to the Xbox um, OG, I went out and bought an RGB SCART lead. Scan lines. More on that as and when I get round to doing a little bit more work on the Xbox OG. Again, nothing that is is uh, mind blowing, I'm sure, but uh, I wanted a little bit to play with it. And the other thing that I bought for the Xbox, the original Xbox, what did I buy this for? I don't know what I bought this for now. I've got a uh, ah, that's what I bought. Yeah, that's what I bought it for. I've got a. Xbox OG uh, controller adapter to USB and again we'll go into that in more detail at some point never so I've got good intentions guys I've got really good intentions and finally after Christ this device has been out about as long as my YouTube channel has been going and I never bought the device and I had a few people say to me, oh, oh, can you get the device? Can you do a video on it? And you know, like you did with the, all the scalers you've done and, and line doublers and this, that and the other and, and do a comparison video. Well, <laughs> I, I, I do know why I bought it. I'm not even gonna tell you why I bought this because you're gonna just, you know, say, yeah, you've been an absolute twat now. But I bought this and it delivered perhaps about three weeks, three or four weeks ago now. I've basically missed the boat by about two years. But I do want to do a video on this, quite an in-depth, you know, nerdy sort of, let's go back to the game, this gaming channel's basics, get back to these scan lines and get this shit out there. And it's one of the few devices I haven't actually got. I've still got all those scalers and line doublers and all that good stuff that I've done the videos on. I've never binned or got rid of any of that. But I've only just recently gone out and joined the, um, yeah, joined the 21st century. I don't actually need this. Uh, <laughs> but I actually wanted to play about with it with the Xbox original. Basically, because I couldn't be asked to get my frame meister out or anything else out and get it all set up. So I thought, oh, this is an excuse to get one of these. I finally, finally, after I said that I'd never get one because I don't need it, yet yeah, was that ever stopped me doing anything before, is an open source scan converter. Finally, finally got one. But I will, I, 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 yeah. But there's no point in me saying I'm going to get around to doing a proper video on this, so I probably never will do. But but the intention is to do a a mammoth review on this and and do it and do comparisons against against the frame meister. I mean, everyone else has done this already, but I love doing this stuff anyway. So you know, I don't care what anyone else has done. Um, and I'll give it the full yee hoo. You know what I mean? So yeah, open score, open source, open source scan converter. So we'll put that through its paces and see how useless that is. Nah, I know they're not useless, I'm being facetious. So yeah, that's about it really. Um, uh, like I said, I'd like to turn around and say that, that um, yeah, I'll be churning a shitload of awesome content out, but I'd be lying. Um, uh, the only thing actually worth, worth mentioning as well, and I know there's quite a few people going to it, is the next Sausage Fest uh, piss up. Um, which is in March, 27th, 28th of March, RK Club in Leeds. A uh, load of us going up there. Um, actually, I, I'm only going actually for the one night this time, and I don't know why how that's, how that's worked out. Um, I think there's a few other people that were going a bit weak, and I just joined the weak the weakness wagon. But, but going up there on the Saturday, uh, staying over the Saturday night, Clearly going to go out on the Saturday night and get absolutely smashed. 
as we as we normally do we meet up for these uh, occasions but if you're around if you're thinking of going if you've got nothing on that weekend then get your ass over to Leeds get your ass, ass over to RK Club get your hand in your pocket get the beers in and let's just get smashed um, I hope you've enjoyed that totally useless and uninformative video that I've just done and I will no doubt speak to you again in about 14 years. See you soon folks.